welcome to my channel and my first YouTube video. Today I'm just going to be running you guys through my everyday makeup tutorial. Makeup look. Okay. Um, it's just going to be a very basic video. It's what I do when I'm going for a really natural look. Typically I don't use foundation when I do makeup, so I won't be using foundation in this video. Though, I will be using concealer. Alright, let's get started. So we're going to start the video off with the brows, and I'm going to start with using Elf Cosmetics Instant Lift Brow Pencil in shade Deep Brown. I'm just going to start by brushing out the brows because I filmed this at 7am. You know how the brows be after you wake up in the morning. After that, I'm going to start under the brow. I'm going to do very light strokes just to make it a very soft and a natural look. And once I get towards the end of the brow, I'm going to go a little harsher. Then I start at the top, but a little far back so you don't get a blocky look at the front of your brow. And I'm going to the tail and blend it down into the end of the brow. And then I'm going to start by blending the brows downwards, just so when you blend upwards, it's easier for you to arrange your hairs. And I'm just going to do it on the other side. So then I'm going to go in with e.l.f. Cosmetics Clear Brow and Lash Mascara, and this is a gel mascara, so when I use it on my brows, it just keeps my flyaways down throughout the day. It really helps because my eyebrows are thick, like I said, and they're long, so this really helps them stay in place. Then I'm going to set them with Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in shade 25 medium. And I'm just going to run this along under my brow. And then I'm going to do it on my eyebrow to have a coat for my eyeshadow later. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to highlight the bridge of my nose and the tip of my nose, as well as the cupid's bow, just to highlight those areas of the face. Then I'm going to go in with concealing the under eye in a triangle shape. And then I'm going to go in with Real Technique Sugar Rush Miracle Complexion Sponge in Peach. And it's really shimmery and pretty. And I'm going to use the tip in to just blend the concealer. And when you blend this around the eyebrow, you really want to make sure that you are pressing down and patting into the skin instead of rubbing and moving the concealer around the face. Alright, so once I'm all done blending, I'm going to go in with um, Ramel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade Silky Beige. And then I'm going to use the Elf's Cosmetic Powder Brush to set my concealer. So you really want to rub it in and get a good amount on your brush, just so when you blend it in and press it into the concealer, it will set and give you an airbrushed look.
Next, I'm gonna go with Perfusion Cosmetics Velvet Matte Eyeshadow Palette. I got this for like nine bucks at Target. It was really good. The pigmentation is so good. I use it for like everything. It is my go-to eyeshadow palette. So I'm gonna go with the transition shade Heavenly in the crease just to transition the lighter concealer into the crease. And once I go in with the crease color treat, I'm gonna blend that in really well together just to make it nice and perfect. So then I'm gonna go in with the cozy shade, which is a dark brown, and I'm gonna put that on the outer corners of my eyelid just to have a smoky eye effect. I'm gonna blend that in really, really good because it's a really dark shade and I have to make sure it's blended with the crease and as well as the eyelid. And I know it looks really aggressive, <laughs> but I promise it's blending really well. So next I'm going to go in with the Blush Neutrals BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. And I'm going to use this shimmery gold shade. And I'm going to put that on the lid that is left, not the outer corner, but starting at the inner corner going into the rest of my lid. Just to highlight that part of my eyelid to make that smoky eye look. And it's going to be a really subtle shimmer. And I'm going to go in with the cozy shade again along the waterline. Now I've done the other side. Looking good. I'm going to go in with my eyelash curler. You can get these literally anywhere. I don't remember where I got mine because I probably got it at a dollar store. <laughs> So then I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Cosmetics mascara and I'm going to coat them in that just to let them set and be really even. Then I'm going to go in with Beauty Moments Ultimate Mascara Kit. It's a three kit mascara but I'm going to be using volumizing and thickening. So I'm going to start with volumizing mascara. To make those lashes pop because mascara is key then i'm going to go in with the bottom lashes just to make sure they're nice and even and to make my eyes really pop because it's 7 a.m and i look dead so i'm going to go in with the thickening mascara and i love this mascara after using the volumizing mascara because it just makes the lashes look so much thicker and longer it just looks really good i actually found this kit at burke's outlet for like five bucks and it is like the best mascara I've ever used. So then I'm going to go in with Perfusion's Contour Palette. I couldn't find this on the internet, but I'm going to go in and use these darker shades. You can see it has light contour, dark contour, and highlighter, as well as three other brushes. I'm going to use the small contouring brush to contour my nose with the medium dark contour. And you want to start contouring your nose about towards the middle of your nose and make sure you go up towards your eyebrow just to make sure that your nose looks really even. And I also just like to do right in the middle by my tip just to make the tip of the nose pop out. Then I'm going to go in with the lighter shade of dark contour to bronze my forehead and I'm gonna do some contour around the cheekbones so when I contour my cheekbones you want to start where those hairs are by your ear and you want to blend in towards your lips so you don't have any harsh lines Then I'm going to contour under my jawline. This is very optional. It's not really necessary, but I just felt the need to do it. 
Then I'm going to go back in with my blush neutrals eyeshadow and blush palette and use this shade of blush. It's my favorite blush color. It looks really good on me. And I'm going to use the powder brush for this one to apply it. And I'm just going to tap it lightly onto my cheeks so it's not harsh. You looking good. You serving looks. So I'm going to go in with the small highlight brush in the contour palette. And I'm going to use the lighter shade of highlight for the cheeks. And you want to start right on the top of the cheekbone to make that really pop out. And you sort of want to blend up just a little bit so it's not one harsh line. But then I'm going to go back in with the same shade of highlight and highlight on the bridge of my nose where I apply concealer and on the tip of my nose to make it pop. And then I'm also going to do the same highlight on my cupid's bow. And then I'm also going to use that highlight to highlight right under the brow. Then I'm going to finish with Elf's Cosmetics Blushing Brown Lipstick. It's a very moisturizing lipstick and I really love it. It's a great neutral. And I love to pair it with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Canes. So I'm just going to start at the outer corner of my lip. And I'm going to try and keep the brown more on the edge of my lip. So that way when I go back in with the NYX, it will create a more neutral pink for me. And it won't be so harsh of a brown. So I'm just going to blend that NYX color right on the inside of my lip just to make it a more neutral color and not such a harsh brown. And then I'm all done and there I am serving looks. Thank you guys for watching my YouTube video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, follow the social media. If there are any more topics that you guys would like me to cover, just let me know in the comments below or contact me on any of the social media. Bye!